Hello guys, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna to share with you how to manifest money and how I manifested 100,000 euro in six months at the age of 21 using this um, technique, using these strategies. Now I'm currently in a hammock, as you can see. And I've been lying here for two hours, just relaxing. Oi! It's the dogs, so we can hear them. But I wanted to make a video on how to help you manifest money. If you are struggling, if you are wanting or desiring to accumulate wealth, if you are wanting to allow money to flood into your life naturally, the dogs are playing, I'm sorry. Ah, inside! Okay. Um, if you're wanting to accumulate wealth, I can help you get there. And I'm going to share that because I've gone through this journey, the, the hero's journey. I've already gone through the journey of being someone who couldn't pay their rent certain months or even pay for food or groceries I remember certain times like my my card to get on the bus was declined and I was like oh I'm gonna top it up and I'd like have no money to, to commute to work um, and really really struggling in Canada to you know earning an abundance of money and accumulating a lot of wealth where I can you know now chill in a hammock for two hours if I want or all day <laughs> um, and it was a journey and to put it shortly when I was 17 years old I dropped out of school and I worked six minimum wage jobs by the age of 20. So I was earning nine euro an hour in every single job and I couldn't move up the bar. And I'm gonna tell you about, a little bit about that why is because I didn't believe I deserved it. And that is really the biggest limitation in this reality for people is they believe they don't deserve wealth because we have been fed this lie that money is selfish, that money is greedy, that money is wrong, that it is dirty, all these things. And um, when that's not the case at all. Money makes the world go round. Money is what creates um, everything in this world. It's what we use to exchange energy. So how I like to see money in its purest, holiest form is that energy or money is just an exchange of energy, right? If you, for example, buy one of my products, I'm just giving you some of my energy for some of your energy, okay? Vice versa with everything in this world. If you go to buy a coffee, you're giving some of your energy away, the money for a coffee, another form of energy, because everything in this world is energy. It is the identity that we attach to this money, which is what creates re repelling and which is creates um, stagnant um, income and it creates disharmony and not this flow, natural flow of abundance flowing into our life. And that is the receptive energy. That is the receptive energy to the money. So when we are wanting to manifest money, it's first understanding the energy we have with money, the label we create with that money. So I want you to think about lollipops, okay? So lollipops, it's just a physical object in this world. It's something that is sold, sold in most stores, lollipops, okay? If I were to sit here and tell you that money is now going to be lollipops, money is gone out the window, it's not a thing anymore, lollipops are the new currency, okay? If I told you this, you'd be able to run out and get a million lollipops, okay? In every store, you'd get them, you'd just, like, you'd figure out ways to get lollipops, right? Because you don't feel there's a, like, you don't think it's a hard thing to obtain. You're like, yeah, I'll go to any store and I can take lollipops or, you know, you know what I mean? You, you get the point I'm trying to make. When it comes to money, people have this real difficult stigma attached to it that it's really, 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 really hard to make and that it's really difficult and if we do get it it slips through our fingers and runs right back out because remember if we accumulate wealth and this is what happens to a lot of lottery winners they win the lotto and then they're broke within a year it's because it's not their natural state of being to be wealthy it doesn't feel to their identity so understand that every person in this world has an identity if we're a doctor if we're a nurse if we're a youtuber we all have a core identity of who we think we are and when we have something that is not out of balance or not in physical balance with that it will not come into our reality and so most people in this world in this matrix have been conditioned to believe that their reality is poor that they are not abundant that they're not wealthy that they're not rich and that their job reconfirms this identity and it's continuation i wish i could move my hands because i'm very expressive but i've got to hold this mic um it's a continuation of that manifestation and so we go along in our life believing at our core that we are poor and that we have to obtain money outside of us but I have to tell you now, you are a spiritual being having a temporary human experience. You are infinitely powerful and you are infinitely wealthy. And you've also won the lottery, which is being here in this physical reality. And we have the ability to manifest anything because remember every single thing in this reality is from the man, mi the man mind, the man made mind, okay? Every single thing in this world has been created from the physical mind. It has came from the non-physical world of the thought into the physical. Right? When you think of an idea, every business you look at, every uh, store you walk past, every coffee shop started in someone's mind. That shows how powerful us as human beings are. We are magical creators. We create through thought. And what happens is so many people expect the manifestation without the thought, without the energy, without the frequency, without the internal work that they need to do. Okay, So money 
is not the issue. Money is not the problem at all. It has nothing to do with money. It is the stigma, the stories, the identities, the energies you are attaching to that money that is not allowing it into your life. You are not, um, and then also when you have these beliefs, you also don't get downloads of, let's say you're wanting to earn money, but you don't know how. If you don't believe you deserve that money, you're not gonna find out the how to get, to get there to make that, right? So let's say those opportunities are all there for you but we can't even allow them in if we're not even going to crack the door open to allow that to flow in. Does that make sense? So when I started trying to earn money, when I was 20, I was in Canada, I started to see money everywhere. Okay. This was the secret trick for me. I would look around and see everything like the way I see lollipops, right? Lollipops are something that you see and you're just like, yeah, whatever. Like they're not scared. Like you don't even, when you see a lollipop in a store, it's such a random thing. But when you see a lollipop, you're like, oh yeah, like whatever. Like, okay. It's an object, right? Money is an object too, okay? I was about to say my dog is an object, but that doesn't sound right. This t-shirt is an object, right? Everything in this world is an object. It's a physical thing. Money is another physical thing, but there is so much pressure and there's so much energy put on this, this physical thing because it has so much meaning to people. But think of it just like a lollipop, a chocolate bar, um, a pen, a ring. These are all just objects in this physical world, okay? So the money already exists in this physical world right now. The money is here, in this reality, okay? We think that there's a scarce, there's a limited amount. I'm here to tell you, money is limitless, money is abundant. There is so much wealth everywhere because it is just an object, right? Look around, okay? When I look at nature, I see nature as abundant. It is everywhere. It is everywhere. Literally money um, or nature is everywhere. It's abundant. It's the same with money. When we get into that abundant mindset where we see everything as abundant, as we see everything as wealthy within ourselves, in our self-love, in how we love others, when we see everything as abundant, as wealthy, and we give gratitude to that. When we see money as that, we say, wow, I'm grateful that I can pay for things. Because what happens is we're chasing the security that money wants to give us. We're chasing that feeling of safety and comfort as a woman. And so when we're craving that, that feeling of comfort, we have to give ourselves that comfort and that appreciation, that gratitude now for the money that we do have. Regardless if it's five euro in your bank account. When I had like two euro in my bank account, I was cherishing that two euro. I was like, thank you, God, for that two euro. I can get a coffee with that. How amazing is that? That I can, you know, like scan my card and I can receive a coffee, like a hot drink, right? This is what you need to do. You need to appreciate the money that you have because you cannot expect to draw more and more, more money in if you are not appreciating the money that you have. So it's dealing with the relationship you have with money and seeing money everywhere. Like it's just another object, right? When I used to get the subway to work, I'd look at all these people um, on, their way to, <laughs> they're not to, on their way to work and I would literally visualize. I'd be like, okay, he's probably earning 60K a year. That girl's probably making 50K a year. That guy's probably making 40, whatever. And I would like calculate it all up and I'd be like, wow, there is millions upon millions in this commute right now. There is millions of money within this commute right now. I'm surrounded by wealth. I'm surrounded by abundance. And I got into this mindset. And within six months, I started accumulating a lot of wealth very fast. And I believe it was because of this. I believe it was because I had such a receptive, open state. And to allowing that in because it was such a normal byproduct of to me. Because remember, it was my identity. I felt wealthy at my core. Right? And when you have that identity, it has to manifest. Because it is the vibrational frequency that you are sending out. So I just say all the time, I'm wealthy, I'm abundant, I'm rich, I'm amazing, I'm abundant, I deserve money, and all these things will flow into your life. So remember, your identity, your core, the reason so many people struggle is because, the reason so many people do is because we have been conditioned and programmed to be in shame and fear and in low frequencies when it comes to money. We are not taught how to, the only thing we're taught it is in business school is how to do taxes, which is taking away more money, which creates fear in us. We're not taught that we are wealthy, that we can be wealthy. It's not something that we think we can possess. So you have to change your identity, your core reasoning of who you think you are. So you have to understand how much you think you deserve and then feel into that and feel that you already have that. And that is how you're going to manifest that. So I hope you enjoyed. And I want to let you know if you want to manifest money, if you want to manifest a specific amount, whether it be 100,000, a million, whatever it is, um, I have a course down below called the Magnetic Money Mindset. It's only 66 euro. I have over a thousand students and they've manifested like triple their income. They've all manifested careers, like apartments, like crazy things within like 
weeks of doing this uh, program um, and I give you a routine that will help you manifest money instantly if you are in a state where you desire more money so I'm going to link that down below for you I also have a bunch of other man manifestation courses to help you manifest anything um, but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video I'm sending you lots of love and I will see you in the next <laughs> in the next video bye bye